Caterpillar is known for its huge construction and mining machinery, but most of us don't really know how Caterpillar evolved to its current position. Initially, Caterpillar Incorporation manufactured farm machinery, when Holt Manufacturing Company and Best Tractor Company joined to become the Caterpillar Tractor Company in 1925. Benjamin Holt and Daniel Best founded the business. From 1925 through 1986, it was known as the Caterpillar Tractor Company. Then, in 1986, it changed its name to Caterpillar Incorporated. Caterpillar rose to become one of the top producers of diesel and natural gas engines, industrial gas turbines, and diesel electric locomotives worldwide. Its main office is in Peoria, Illinois. Both of Caterpillar's original companies, which were founded in the 1800s, were focused on manufacturing agricultural equipment and led by their respective CEOs. The first steam traction engine was created far back in the 1800s by the Holt Manufacturing Company. As the business expanded, Holt relocated the tractor manufacturing operations to Peoria, Illinois, where Caterpillar is today. The Caterpillar tractor had an impact that went well beyond agriculture. In addition to the best tractor company, Holt Manufacturing Company was producing steam-driven wheeled tractors and harvesters to take the place of horse-drawn harvesting equipment on large farms. In 1904, Holt created the first model of a tractor that resembled a Caterpillar. Instead of wheels, this tractor operated on metal belted tracks, which prevented the bulky machine from sinking into the muck and dirt. The new equipment was an instant hit as all-terrain haulers and graders, and the Holts decided to establish a new manufacturing facility in Peoria, Illinois. It battled the mud of the Western Front during World War I from 1914 to 1918 while pulling equipment for the Allied military forces. It served as an inspiration for the British tanks creation, which fundamentally revolutionized ground warfare strategies. Up until 1925, when the business merged with another tractor producer, they were regarded as pioneers in the agricultural sector. Sales of tractors and combines to the Soviet Union under the Great Depression helped the nation's first five-year plan, which ran from 1929 to 1933, be successful. Caterpillar started offering tractors and combine harvesters for sale in Russia in 1930. In San Leandro, California, Caterpillar perfected a tractor powered by a diesel engine rather than a gasoline one, and diesel engines quickly became the norm for all types of heavy-duty vehicles. The first motor grader was also created in Minneapolis, Minnesota the same year. Additionally, the original Caterpillar machinery and logo were gray. The business made the decision to alter the machinery's color to the easily recognizable highway yellow that is still used today in 1931. The Caterpillar yellow color is a slightly distinct shade of yellow that has been trademarked. In 1989, the logo that is familiar to everyone was created. It consists of a brand new word mark, with a subtle yet powerful graphic component inside. A bold, clean, sans serif typeface that closely resembles CG Triumvirate Inserat and Nimbus Sans Cond Black is used to create the inscription, which is written in all capital letters. The lower halves of the first three letters are covered by a large yellow triangle, adding a vibrant accent and giving the logo its distinct and identifiable look. Commercial sales of the first diesel engine were made in 1932, yet that same year, Caterpillar declared a $1.6 million loss on its books. Caterpillar machinery was used in the 1933 construction of the Golden Gate Bridge, which at the time was the tallest and longest suspension bridge in the world. Caterpillar contributed to all significant global initiatives. Diesel engines built by Caterpillar powered the Sherman M4 tank during World War II. After the war, when these vehicles were required for building roads, dams, and other infrastructure across the globe, the company's tractor and truck sales were through the roof. Early in the 1950s, CAT equipment was used to assist in constructing a 10.5-mile motorway that substantially improved travel through Venezuela's Andes Mountains. The Indian government bought 93 CAT machines in 1953 to help with the nation's road construction efforts. The construction of the venues for the 1956 Melbourne Olympics also benefited from the use of CAT machines. The U.S. military used CAT machines during Operation Deep Freeze 3 in Antarctica in the latter half of the decade as proof that CAT even provided technology for operation in the most environmentally difficult regions of the world. During this time, Caterpillar's name essentially came to represent bulldozers. Beginning in 1961, the corporation encountered a number of labor disputes with its American staff that were organized into a union, 
but its expansion persisted. Through the acquisition of the Tow Motor Corporation, a Mentor, Ohio-based company, CAT expanded their Fortlift production line in 1965. By purchasing the International Harvester Company's Solar and Turbomach division in 1981, CAT entered the market for industrial gas turbines. In 1998, Perkins Limited, a British producer of small diesel engines, and MWM Holding, a German manufacturer of gas and diesel-powered generator sets, were both significant acquisitions. The corporation changed its name to Caterpillar Incorporation in 1986. In 2002, Caterpillar sold its farm equipment division to Agco and started the process of transforming into a top producer of construction and mining machinery. Today, Caterpillar is a well-known brand. In 2022, Caterpillar was ranked 73rd on the Fortune 500. This places it even higher than other global juggernauts like Sony Pictures, Coca-Cola, and World Wrestling Entertainment. Their retail sales are over $2.1 billion, which is an incredible amount, and they operate 107 distinct lifestyle stores in various cities. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you at the next one.